Hello, Gemini. Thank you for tuning into my channel. I definitely appreciate all the love and support, and I send it right back to you guys. Please be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment if this reading resonates. With that being said, let's go ahead and see what messages are coming through for you guys at this time. Spirit of love and light, truth and clarity. What messages do you have for a sign of Gemini? Please and thank you. Messages for a sign of Gemini, please and thank you. Okay, we have two coming out. You know, um, when I saw this devil card, I immediately, the surprising thing is that I feel like I, I feel like I would have expected the nine of swords to come out. But I'm getting that there's a toxic trait that you have. And the toxic trait is just feeling like nothing will ever pay off for you. You'll never reap anything good out of life. And it seems like you have a tendency to like speak these things over yourself. But what they're saying is that you have worked hard towards something. I'm getting just in life in general. You worked hard to be a good person. You worked hard to do the right things. And you've been very patient, waiting to reap your rewards. For one, I'm getting that every day you have something to be grateful for. And I know at times it's hard to see that. But the one thing that they want you to acknowledge so that you can move forward and out of this energy so that you can break free of it with the full card um, and start a new adventure in your life without this, this devil energy telling you that nothing good would ever happen. Um, you'll never have anything good. And they want you to break free of that. Um, because that energy has been weighing you down. Okay? Why is the King of Cups? Some of you guys are moving away from someone that you found yourself, <coughs> Ooh, excuse me, you found yourself falling for. With the King of Cups here, this was someone who was emotionally invested in you as well, but it looks like they failed to show it. And you will find yourself in a very happy place here. I do see that you will be moving on from this connection. But it looks like this person has created like a blockage here for you. I'm not sure how if you guys have just been waiting on this person. But they're showing up in your blockage position. So... Ooh, hold on. Let me see. What was that about? Grieving. Okay. I'm getting that this person is grieving the loss of this connection. And they regret being so deceitful towards you. It looks like they have a change of perception here. The way they perceived you. Because now they're viewing you as someone who's very strong. Um, someone who's getting a lot of attention as well. You're at the top of your game or you're about to be. What is that? Ooh. I knew that was going to happen. Let's see. Let's see, what is the energy coming towards Gemini? What is the energy coming towards Gemini? The moon and the hermit. Give me more about why the moon is the energy coming towards them.
it looks like some hidden emotions are going to come to the surface is what I'm getting because there's a breakthrough in communication. I really am getting at this point, you would have turned your back on this connection and began moving elsewhere. Because I keep getting this energy of you moving on with your life and leaving something behind. But I'm not seeing you moving on to a new relationship. Yeah, I definitely see you having options, but it looks like... Oh, never mind. I lied. So, I mean, I, was, I keep getting work, but I'm not surprised to see a lot of people meeting people at work because that's where we spend most of our time, unfortunately. But I am getting that you will have a divine partnership coming in. But it looks like it's going to catch you off guard because you're not focused on anything but whatever you're working on, whatever you're building towards here. And then you have this divine union coming into your life. But you're at a good place to be in a relationship because you're content. Your finances are doing well. And then you meet someone who's very successful, um, who's very successful as well. This person is established in life. Let's see, who is currently, this is, I'm getting someone new. Who is currently focused on Gemini? Knight of Swords and the Queen of Swords. So this person thinks they're about to come in and save the day. And you're like, wait a second, hold up. So when this person comes into your life, you're at this place where like you have established boundaries in this connection and your boundaries will be respected. You're perfectly fine with being single until the right person comes along, but you just don't view this person as being the right one for you. It's like there's some suppressed emotions, hidden emotions that are coming to the surface. And you guys may find yourself at a place where it's like, you know what? I don't like the way they judged me. Um, I don't like the way they didn't give me the opportunity to show who I truly was. I don't like that they... Uh, you know, and that's, I, I definitely am getting like, you're going to reach that place where you're just going to reflect back on this relationship and say, you know, I didn't deserve that. The way this person treated me, I didn't deserve that. And that's what's going to cause you to turn your back on this. And it looks like by you turning your back on this and moving towards more growth and expansion, because you don't see it in this connection, that's what's going to trigger this person to reach out and communicate with you to bring clarity to the situation. But I do see them charging towards you just a little too late. They're determined to win you over. They're determined to be victorious in this relationship. But you're like, hold up. I'm, you're not going for it anymore. The Queen of Swords is someone who has healthy boundaries, okay? They're open to communicate, but... If you don't come correct, you got to get going. I definitely am getting like you're going to find yourself at this uh, very peaceful place in life. Um, feeling at peace with where you are in life. And you're not going to allow anyone to disturb your peace or disrupt your peace. So it looks like the person currently focused on you is the person from the past, but... I don't see them standing the chance because you'll have this new energy coming in. But I love the energy that you'll be in when you meet this person because you're not tripping off of a relationship. You're very focused on your finances uh, when they come into your life. And you're in this independent and strong energy. What is the advice for Gemini? What is the advice for Gemini? Page of Wands and the Three of Swords. Let's see. Give me one more for the Page of Wands. Closing out a chapter from the past. Okay? No longer holding yourself back with the Magician. You're using every... You're using all your skills, your talents to make something happen here. You're at this point where you're saying, look, I've wasted enough time 
and I'm not I'm not going to do that anymore. So now you're giving it everything that you got. Build and I'm really I'm getting like this is in regards to your career. You're realizing where you held yourself back in the past, and now you're giving it all that you got with the magician energy. You're closing out cycles, you're accomplishing major things. You're no longer seeking closure from others. You're finding it on your own. You're going to find yourself at a very happy place, but also I'm getting like a beautiful family developing for you. You'll have your own family, your own village that you're building for yourself. Okay. I definitely am getting that you'll be extremely protective over your energy over the ones that you love and being very mindful of who you give your time and effort towards the sun a lot of happiness coming in for you i definitely am getting you know the sun's been coming out and the sun is also a car that signa uh signifies the summertime so i definitely am getting like there will be a lot of changes taking place in a lot of people's lives around the summer okay i really am getting just don't be afraid to go after things okay follow your heart it's not misleading you trust the process as well and have fun with it but i'm going to leave it there gemini these are the messages that came through for you guys at this time please be sure to hit that like button subscribe to the channel and leave a comment if this reading resonates. With that being said, you all take care.